clearly a figment of her imagination. A supposedly shot in our home, where we are raising our three children. What an insult. Hey fam, Jackie Pamunza is really going to jail if Basana Kumalo's moving testimony in court is anything to go by. You will remember Jackie Pamunza was found guilty of crime and injury, defamation, contempt of court. And the probation officer Koli Swabudasa from the Houghton Department of Social Development recommended that Jackie's sentencing should include five to eight thousand fine, as this was all she could afford. Budasa also told the court that she had to omit some information from Jackie's statement due to personal health and private reasons. Bastan is not backing down. She's saying they had to endure a lot as a family and they even had to move from Houghton to Cape Town to protect her kids, their kids, I mean. And she also stated in a moving testimony that they also lost family and friends. And also the implications they had to endure due to Jackie's crimes. She's saying she really wants her to be sentenced to jail because to her she feels like house arrest will be like putting, her, putting Jackie in a naughty corner. And she could easily say whatever she wants online still even though she will be on house arrest otherwise jackie's sentencing has been postponed to 26 march so that's when we'll really get a clear picture of whether she'll be doing house arrest or jail okay and there's a video i'll link in the description box that you can check so you can understand this one better so yeah do share your thoughts in the comment section also remember to subscribe like share until next time, bye and thank you for watching. In December 2020, we had to move from our home in Kailami Gauteng to Cape Town because we couldn't just stand to see the pain our children had been going through. And so we attempted to try and provide them as normal a life as possible. Anonymity and a peace of mind. My husband and I had always planned to stay in Johannesburg, I beg your pardon until we retired and had loved our life here. But the crimes of Miss Pamuzi had tainted it all and left us with no other option but to try and make a new start. To add insult to injury, the so-called sex video, which Miss Pamuzi, in this very box that I'm standing in under cross-examination, confirmed that it does not exist. Clearly a figment of her imagination was supposedly shot in our home where we are raising our three children. What an insult. We have been robbed of our happiness and robbed of our image and dignity. I would never want anyone to have to go through the emotional turmoil my family and I have been through during this period. The damage is irreversible. I do believe that if the accused is not sentenced to direct imprisonment, she will continue with her crimes against me and my family. The accused already has been found guilty of contempt of court and currently she continues with her defaming conduct towards me. To elaborate on this, I wish to bring to this court's attention that on the 3rd of October 2023, I had to bring another application for a protection order against Pamozi under case number 1256 stroke 23 due to the fact that Ms. Pamozi, shortly after she had been found guilty and charged on all four counts by this court, then started promoting a TV series based on the book forming the subject matter of these proceedings. Even though I have brought an application for a protection order, Ms. Pamuzi has opposed it and shows no remorse for her actions. I have on good authority that contravention of a court order carries the weight of a five-year direct imprisonment. I plead with this honorable court that some part of the sentence be direct imprisonment. I appeal to the honorable court to sentence the accused with a direct imprisonment sentence. 